The menu button is useful for bringing up uh, any menu to customize the unit. The, you can change almost everything in here, uh, from the, da the data fields, the page layouts, um, all kinds of warnings, what displays on the map, what doesn't. It's very, very customizable. To, uh, instead of getting lost in menus, I can just explain this very simply. Basically, if you're on the movie map and you want to adjust and you want to change anything on the movie map, you just press the menu button one time and you're going to have a list of items and I can declutter the screen, hide the weather, select a weather legend, um, set up the map, set up the page layout, change data fields. So they're pretty obvious. If I wanted to change this distance next to something else, I can change data fields and it'll allow me to change that. Or if I want to set up the map, I can select set up map. I just press the down arrow a couple times to select, put the highlighter on set up map, press enter. And now I have a menu of options for this unit. Uh, one option you may want to do is you may want to change the amount of detail. I've got it set for most, but maybe you put it on normal. Uh, also, you could set for orientation instead of north up. You can put it in track up. The north up always puts north at the top of the movie map. If you have it set for track up, whatever direction you're going is at the top of the screen. So, for example, if you're flying east, east will show at the top of the screen. If you turn west, west will turn at the top of the screen. The moving map will rotate as you fly. I find it a lot more useful to actually fly in track up mode, but when I demo the unit here in the store, I like to use north up mode. If I press quit, that'll back out of that menu and go back to my moving map. Notice that now that I've gotten to track, gone into track mode, I have this arc right here showing some extra track information. Every screen, the navigation screen I go to, will have its own custom menu. This is the movie maps menu. If I go press page and go to our terrain screen, if I press the menu button then, I come up with a custom menu for the terrain screen. Set up terrain, set up page layout, change data fields. Everything that you want to uh, change or modify on this screen. If I press quit, backs out of that menu. I'm going to press page, go to our panel page. If I press menu, now I've got options set for this for this navigation page. Right here, the top item is set up page layout. It's highlighted. I'm going to press enter, and I can change from our panel page to go to a two column HSI. Now I've got an HSI on the left side and two columns of information. If I pre press the menu again, select pet, set up page layout, and go back to the panel page, I can change this back. Just that easy. Every page has its own customized menu. Now there's also a main menu, and if you press the menu button from any screen, you press it twice, it comes up with a main menu. In this main menu, you've got tabs along the left side, and they control everything that's universal throughout the unit. For example, like the, the GPS status works uh, throughout the unit. Um, not specific just to just the movie map page or the terrain page, it works on every page, so it's in the main map. Uh, other things you can adjust in here are things like changing from nautical miles to statute miles to kilometers, or changing the the time zone that you're in. Things like that are universal throughout the unit, and you'll find those in the main menu. There are a lot of different options in here. Just to go down the list, there's the GPS setup, uh, weather, extra weather detail, the XM tab, which shows your stat, your XM status, and we'll get all into this during the XM lesson. Uh, all your recent flights, your flight plans that are programmed in here, waypoints, tracks, aircraft, E6B, alarms, celestial data, messages, display, uh, change the backlight intensity, do some other little modifications, the sound if I want the little beep to come on or off, and some other guidance in warnings, and also the setup. Uh, this is where, for example, you could change from nautical to statute by going from setup, I'm going to press the right arrow, highlight system, VNAV, road routing, guidance, timers, time, units, and units is the one I would want to be. If I wanted to change this from nautical to statute, I would go to distance and speed, press the down arrow, highlight nautical, press the enter button, it gives me a list of options. Select statute, press enter. Now everything in the unit is going to come up in statute miles. I don't actually want to fly like that, I'm going to leave it in nautical. And to get out of the main map, or the main menu, I'm going to press the quit button, it's going to back me out to the movie map. And that is a general uh, introduction to the menu button. A lot of things in there, and we could spend all day looking at all the items, but I just want to give you an overview of how the unit's laid out there. 